Hello everyone, my name is Sifi Dean. I'm your science teacher for this course, and today we're gonna be talking about the adaptation in animals. I need to take you in a trip around the world to visit your favorite animal. But we need to get started by solving two questions. Consider them a clue. Here, the first one. I'm an animal. My body is covered with feathers. Feathers means bird. Okay, keep it in mind. So, animal, my body is covered with feathers. I lay egg. I live in Antarctica. Mr. Safe, what does it mean, Antarctica? That's a very cold place found in one of the two poles of Earth, especially the southern one. Okay, so the question again I'm an animal, my body is covered with feathers, I lay egg, and I live in Antarctica. Who am I? Did you catch it right? Think. I guess you catch it right. Give yourself a big hand if it's a right answer. Try again if it wasn't right. It's the penguin. Amazing. <laughs> Would you like to solve the other questions? Let's get it started. Here. I'm an animal. I live in Arctic region. Arctic region means also very cold a place. Okay, polar climate. Very cold there. And my body is covered by white fur. My body is covered with white fur. It means I'm not a bird. Here is a mammal. A mammal lives in very cold place and the body is covered with white fur. White. Take a time to think. <laughs> Did you catch it right? I guess so. So give yourself a big hand if it was a right answer. Amazing. It's the polar bear. Here, we need to visit the animals around the world. Your favorite animal, anyone, is allowed to be visited. You can visit any animal around the world by just clicking on this place. So consider this not a lesson. Consider it. So, do you see them? We need to get started by a point. The starting point is one of the previous animals, the penguins or the polar bear, and there you can visit what you want. Let's start by the penguins. Do you see how cold is this place? It's really cold. How do they live there? In such a cold place, the penguins have their own tools. They adapt to live in this place. But how do they adapt? What do they need? Actually, any animal around the world needs food to stay alive. That's an easy question, and the answer is over there. They need food. Excellent. So, what do they need to eat? I guess you catch it right. They need fish. They need to eat fish. So, from where can they bring fish? From the water? Yes. So, how can they get fish from the water? Consider this one of the give reason questions. But keep in mind something. Give reason means tell me why. Okay, if I ask you a question, give reason for, that means I'm asking you to tell me why. Okay, so the give reason right here is they have paddles. Penguins have paddles. Can you give me a reason? Can you tell me why they have paddles? Think about the question give a reason for they have paddles or give reason for penguins have paddles to catch their food maybe it's right to get the fish maybe it's right let's see give reason for penguins have paddles to swim or to be able to swim to catch their food which is fish you catch it right I guess you are thinking right. <laughs> Look here. <laughs> mm. Can this penguin live in such a cold place? Definitely no. Absolutely no. <laughs> it has no body coat. So what's going to happen if it has no body coat? It will freeze? Yes, it's right. It will freeze or maybe die. Both are right answers, by the way. So, what do they need to stay alive in such a cold place in the polar region? The answer is so simple. They have feathers. 
but not any type of feathers. They have thick, downy feathers. They have thick and downy feathers. Why they have thick, downy feathers? Mm -hmm. You are right. To warm their body. Their body needs to be warmed in such a cold place. Without these feathers, the penguins will freeze. Without a body coat, the penguins cannot stay alive. So, the give reason question that's supposed to be here for you, and I guess it's going to be easier than before, give reason. For penguins have thick and downy feathers to warm their body. That's the answer. Give yourself a big hand. A layer of fat that helps their body to be warm. Is this all about penguins? No. We still have just a piece of information here, which is, take a look over there. Look. The body is not all covered by feathers. That's a problem. Because all the body here is going to be warm, except one place, which is, take a look here. Yes, <laughs> it's not feet, it's paddles. Their paddles are not covered by feathers. So how can they worm their paddles? Otherwise, they're going to freeze. I guess so. They need to make something not by the external shape of the body. They have blood vessels. Blood vessels means tubes inside the body. They allow blood to move from place to another place. So here, if you can take a look, the blood vessels inside the feed are coming in two directions. Number one, blood vessels are coming from the body down. The direction is from the body down. They are carrying warm blood. Why it's warm? Because actually the body is warm <laughs> because of the feathers. So here is warm blood. And the direction is coming down, is moving downward to the feet or to the paddles. So they worm their paddles by the warm blood that is coming from the body. So what about the cold blood? It moves up. So the cold blood in the feed is moving upward to the body. Here, pick up a spot. Here is the place that they meet each other. The warm blood and the cold blood, they are wavy around each other. So what's going to happen if we put something cold beside something warm? They're going to warm each other. This is why the paddles are not freezing. This is why the blood that moves down warm the feet, warm the paddles, and the blood that found in the feet, which is cold blood, moves up to warm their paddles. So, Mr. Safe, how can I answer the questions that maybe come up here? Okay, let's see the questions. Give reason for. Penguins have blood vessels in their feet. The answer is so simple. To warm their feet. Easy. <laughs> so, this is all about penguins. We have studied in penguins. One of the adaptation that happened in polar region. Searching for food by the help of their paddles. Also, how do they worm their paddles by the presence of the blood vessels? And also the last piece of information, which is the really important part here, the most important one, the body coat. They are covered by feathers. Don't forget, they don't have fur because we have a slightly difference between feathers and fur. Feathers are found in birds, but fur is found in mammal so are these mammals do they give birth no they are not mammals they are birds and the birds are covered by feathers and here we have finished the first animal uh -oh. penguins and adaptation in polar region in penguins let's go back would you like to visit another animal keep going